Pavel Durov, often dubbed the Mark Zuckerberg of Russia, is not just a tech entrepreneur, but a vocal advocate for privacy and digital freedom. As the founder of Telegram, he has created one of the fastest growing messaging apps in the world, which stands out for its robust encryption and a strict privacy policy. Born into the Soviet Union and shaped by the contrasting experiences between his life in post-Soviet Russia and capitalist Italy, Durov's unique background has fueled his mission to protect user data from authoritarian grips. How did his early experiences influence his career path? What drove him to prioritize user privacy above all else in creating Telegram? And how has he navigated the complex tensions between governments and digital freedom? Join us as we explore the fascinating journey of Pavel Durov. Pavel Durov, the founder of Telegram, shared his intriguing journey and insights during a comprehensive interview. Durov, born in 1984 in the Soviet Union, moved to Italy at a young age, where he experienced a stark contrast between the centralized system of the Soviet Union and the capitalist system in Italy. This exposure shaped his appreciation for free market systems. Durov and his brother were both prodigious in their educational pursuits, with his brother achieving recognition as a young math prodigy on Italian TV. After returning to Russia post-Soviet Union, Pavel Durov attended a progressive school and later founded Vkontakte, VK, Russia's largest social network. Managing VK largely on his own in the beginning, Durov faced intense government pressure to censor anti-government groups and hand over user data due to VK's role in facilitating opposition protests. Standing firm on his commitment to freedom of speech and assembly, Durov chose to resist these demands, emphasizing his dedication to maintaining VK as an open platform for uncensored communication. This defiance led to his decision to leave Russia and sell his stake in VK, marking a pivotal moment in his career and underscoring his resolve to protect digital freedoms. This confrontation with the government escalated to the point where Durov's personal safety and freedom were at risk. In a particularly alarming incident, armed police attempted to enter his home, ostensibly to intimidate him into compliance. This intrusion was a stark reminder of the lengths to which the government would go to clamp down on digital freedoms, reinforcing Durov's resolve to protect the right to privacy and free expression. In response to these pressures and the invasive tactics employed by Russian authorities, Durov chose exile over compromise. This decision led him to found Telegram, a new messaging platform that would not only serve as a refuge from government surveillance, but also as a bastion of security for users worldwide. Telegram was designed from the ground up with privacy and security as its cornerstone, featuring end-to-end -end encryption and a host of privacy-preserving features that stood in direct contrast to the vulnerabilities Durov perceived in other messaging apps. Durov's journey from the head of Russia's largest social network to the founder of a globally recognized tool for secure communication underscores his transformation into a champion of digital rights. This evolution from a tech entrepreneur to a privacy advocate highlights the impact of personal experiences with governmental overreach on his professional and ethical outlook, driving him to continue pushing the boundaries of what is possible in the realm of secure, private communication. Durov has a strong commitment to user privacy and freedom of expression, which has influenced Telegram's operations and policies. He highlighted the challenges and pressures from various governments and corporations, including the FBI's interest in Telegram's operations during his visits to the US. Despite these challenges, Durov remains dedicated to maintaining Telegram as a neutral platform that does not engage in political sides or compromise on its core values of privacy and freedom, Durov's story is not just about technological innovation, but also about a consistent stand against political pressure and an unwavering commitment to the ideals of freedom and privacy. This commitment has cost him personally and professionally, yet he continues to drive Telegram forward, reaching nearly 900 million users 
without compromising the principles on which it was built. Durov stands as a beacon of resistance, reminding us all that in the fight for privacy, integrity, and freedom, one person's courage can indeed echo across the digital world. As Telegram continues to expand, it carries with it the promise of a safer, freer platform for communication, a legacy crafted by a man who refused to let his vision be silenced.